All right, guys, welcome back to some more Fable 2. Hope everybody's having a great day. Been uh, looking forward to getting back into this one. Been loving the Fable series so far. The games are just... They're pretty crazy RPGs. They're, they're, they're way more than I ever expected. I do hope, you know, I'm, what I'm really looking forward to, guys, is with Fable 4, I hope they keep that, you know, super just out there RPG. Like, they're, like there's, there's condoms in this game, chat. It's, it's like it's like that and I you know I just can't imagine seeing fable 4 modern day hardware modern day combat modern day graphics you know what I mean um with that fable just RPG that we know and love it's gonna be it's gonna be dope guys it's really it's really gonna be dope and so our story begins no our story continues lady uh but yeah I'm glad to be back. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna get sick though. My son, my youngest son had strep throat. And then my oldest son spiked a fever last night. Now he has strep throat. And I'm like, oh great. My daughter's gonna have it, and then I'm gonna probably have it. Okay, so let's get uh reacquainted with our quest. When you select a quest, it becomes your current objective. If you like, you can quickly travel to a next stage of your quest as well. Of course, quests are only one way of gaining renown. You could always marry into the village if you're feeling particularly adventurous. Once you find a quest you like the sound of, you can read about it and find out more. Would you like to travel to Sand Goose? This is the closest spot to the sculptor quest. Sure. Oh, so you could just fast travel to quest locations? I mean, granted, I was literally, I think, standing over there anyways. definitely down to make some money and they said marry into the the village like what does that mean like marry somebody that live what no dude we're, we're still young We've got so much adventure in front of us all right here we go god damn dog scared the fuck out of me bro you let me take a good look at you an adventurer why didn't i think of this before yeah who better to encapsulate the struggle between brutal survival and enlightened intellect? That's me. And such remarkable physiognomy. I shall immortalize you at once. I'm all for it. All right, I'm not gonna Our sh goal is nothing less than the creation of life to anim- Yes, your tech- your behavior is most unprofessional. A model must hold their pose until told otherwise. Yes, your technique is a. Oh, try again. And please hold your pose till the end. I must memorize every aspect. Well, fucking relax, lady. I'm, I'm having a hard time. Yes, your technique is astounding. Fantastic. I hope you can sustain this performance. Mm. How perfectly statuesque. Keep it up. I have never seen such modeling. Just a bit longer. <laughs> oh, you have snatched a moment in time. Bravo. The ideal has become real. You have reached into the embers of the ephemeral and pulled out the fire of eternity. She's making me sound like I'm... Your statue will soon be erected in Oakfield for all to see. Damn, we should have. We should have. We should have done the shit and pose. I shall call it the semiotics of stillness. It should be ready next time you pass through. If it's a success, perhaps you can model for me again someday. See, that went well, chat. That went well, dude. 
Have you seen my mate? Fourteen feet tall, covered in purple fur. <laughs> the drunk dude loved it. That? <laughs> hey, I see it. Brilliant I stuff. like it. Super great. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing I ever saw. I mean, yes, good. ever. I was, I was trying to scare him, chat, and he was just. He was he was loving it. Why is there so many drunk guys? Leoric Semperfly, brother, it's good to see you. I should have slapped him. We could we could have slapped him, but I, I I thought maybe that was gonna go a little too far. Oh dear, oh dear! How could this happen? I mean, right after I bought the deeds too, blam! Down it goes. Come on, Barnum, old boy. You'll think of something. If there's one thing you can do, cogitate on your feet. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Like Uncle Phineas used to say, if life hands you a collapsed bridge, make bridge emanate. Uh, yeah, perhaps some sort of flying engineers that could go right over the bandits. Still couldn't pay them, though. Hmm. Oh, fluffle buns. I'm sunk, 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 sunk. Talk to me, bro. Will you fight the bandits in Rook Ridge? Well, wrap me in pigskin and call me a sausage. Look who it is. It's me, Barnum from Bowerstone. Remember? You helped me with my picture taking business. Oh, shit. Not that it ever took off. Still gam plussled about that one. <laughs> yes, those were good times. Most of them. Well, some. <laughs> Look at you now. All grown up. A proper adventurer, too. The dog just took a I piss. That sister of yours is very proud. Me, I'm in a bit of a custard right now. And it was all going so well. I made the deal of the century just the other day. This wonderfully strange fella sold me the bridge in Rookridge. Cost me every last piece of gold I had, but a thing like that pays for itself, what with all the trade tolls and everything. Only now, the bally thing's fallen to pieces, and no one can get close enough to reconstructify it. Bandits, you see. Bunch of sprockless rotters. Probably saw them on your way here. Keep popping up all over the place, they do. You couldn't give them a proper seeing to, could you? For old time's sakes. I already killed them. Oh, I'd be positively ambidextrous if you would. You could even have me old Thessaurus. I know my heart now anyway. We'll do it. Obviously. I'm ruined if my bridge doesn't get rebuilt. It won't be the first time I can tell you. So you'll get rid of all the bandits in Rookridge? Wondrous! I knew I could count on you, old friend. Please be careful, though. These villains are a dangerous lot. The cards haven't had much luck, but with you on <clears throat> I know it will all turn out do I play multiple games in one stream? No, CJ. I only play one game per stream. That way it's easier for people to watch what they want to watch. Um, once you start, I used to back in the day, I would just do one huge stream all day and just play a bunch of different games. But I have so many people that come from so many different, you know, things that they want to watch that if somebody's like, dude, I want to watch the next episode of Fable. You take a bath once a week, do they? But they don't know how to find it. You know, then they got to try to comb through. You know, hours and hours of footage, to, and it's just, it's a lot for people. And most, you know, some people might be willing to do that, but most people are not going to want to do that. So that's why I ended up bring, breaking everything up. That was the woodcutter job. Everybody needs to eat. That way, when you're like, I want to watch Fable, you can just click on it, sit back, and enjoy. No, no extra work required.
70 miles, 13 hour journey on foot. Jesus Christ. All right, we're here to clear out the bandits. Well, see, I wouldn't say it's necessarily easier for uploading because, I mean, if I just sat here, you know, doing uh, one stream all day, you know what I mean? It's obviously it's easier to just sit here and keep streaming and then just switch the game and keep streaming. Uh, but it does come hard. It's just hard to... Uh, showcase the content like if i played five games in one stream how would i thumbnail that you know what i mean if some like how would i make that stand out for people who want to watch fable or for people who want to watch enshrouded you know what i mean there's no way to like make the games stand out it's, it just complicates things makes it really messy in my opinion So in a way, yeah, it is it is a bit easier for me because I can keep all my stuff organized. All right, so we're going to have to cut through these dudes. What spells do I have active right now? The lightning. Lightning spell is so powerful. Now, say, Paul, when I look at the playback, it looks. Looks normal to me. Uh, oh, 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 what does this one do? Logo will enhance your arcane powers enough to repel vicious dragons. What the fuck does that mean? Me, why do you think they call me Dash? Stupid. Oh, shit. Crying these dudes, man. Standard health potion, dog treats, more dog treats.
Definitely, it seems like it's a lot easier to find the silver keys in this one than the first one. Fifteen on this chest, I only got three. Yeah, like I said, like I said last episode, the only thing I've noticed that's a pretty, pretty big difference between Fable One and Fable Two. Rook Ridge is mine, you hear? I'll use your blood to pay Is um, I feel they overly simplified the combat. Uh, yeah, I feel like they overly simplified the combat in this one compared to the first one. Don't even bother coming after me. I'm the fastest man in Albion. Anyone see where he went? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that electrical spell is it's so it's so good. That stun is just unbelievable. Get lost, you damn dog! Go chase a chain of sausages, you vicious mutt. Your dog growls when enemies are nearby. Watch out. Note your dog will not lead you to, will not lead you to bear items while there's enemies nearby. Get down here! Actions continue to shape the world. And I'm free! Money bag. Uh, bandit bandana, bandit shirt, bandit trousers, yes. Not that I'm a bandit or anything, but I would like to change my clothing up a little bit. Bandit. I wonder if this is going to, like, make people think of me different, though, or look at me different. I don't know. They'll get over it. There it is. Now we look like a, a, a pirate. <laughs> my singing voice has improved with my strep. I doubt it, dude. All paths of Brownstone has been cut off by bandits. Someone in Oakville will be able to give you more information on how to clear them up. Bitch, I just did it. So you can just like fast travel back to the, the towns, right? Baby, lock them doors and turn them lights down low. Put some music on it soft and slow. Baby, we ain't got no place to go. You haven't heard that song in forever, dude. Mm. 
Let me see here. I think we can just fast travel back. Yo, they really made this shit easy as hell, dude. <clears throat> Pay me money, dude. Ah, the hero returns. A stupendous success. Jolly well done. Of course, turns out those deeds weren't entirely genuine, so the toll thing isn't going to work out quite as planified. Still, at least it's not me who has to rebuild the bridge now. Okay, so I might be broke, but I'll bounce back. Always do. Anyway, here's my trusty Thessaurus, as promised. You never know when you'll be caught in a lexicological quandary. No, I want money, dude. I don't want a book. I did get Dash's goggles, but we don't we don't want to wear those. Thanks to you, the way to Bowerstone is now open again. Awesome. There it is. So let me uh see about healing up here. You're almost famous enough. A few people are whispering of your deeds, but that's not quite enough. What do you mean, dude? I just... Uh, we'll use one of these. Alright, let's see. So what other quests can we do in this area? The ritual, earn 48 more renown to impress the abbot. Um, gain entry to the Temple of Shadows. Chat. Like, that sounded. Speak to the ghost of the a jilted lover, and become its instrument of vengeance. Watching the guide for State of K2. Currently watching your Dead Island 2 gameplay and loving the videos. Ah, With a few I like more cheese. Like that, the abbot will have no choice but to accept you as the escort. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Yo, Dead Island 2 was uh, it was a good time. Oh. Enemies nearby. We got. Oh. Hit him with the hammer, chat. <laughs> now, let me actually check my abilities here, because I did get to the point where I can... Yeah, we got enough to upgrade our shock spell. Damn, level 3 costs 16,200, dude. That's absolutely insane. This increases our damage of our gun, and then this increases our attack speed. Yeah, we'll get this too. So we get brutal styles blocking. Physique increase our damage. And toughness increase our body.
Okay, so you just hold the attack button to block. Ronan's <laughs> not gonna lie, I would like to hear some more strep cowboy. <clears throat> Dude, we got the Arthur Morgan accuracy right now, dude. What? Oh shit, never mind. They're all coming down here to give me the business. Avenge the ghost? Chad, it depends on what they want me to do here. Are you... Are you looking at me? You... Can you see me? Oh, finally. I've been wandering this place so long. So lost. So... So angry. I need to find peace. I need to find justice. Maybe you can help me. Yeah, dude, what do you need me to do? You have no idea what I've suffered. The pain that still keeps me in this world. Yeah, somebody did them dirty. I was going to get married, you know, to Alex, the prettiest girl in town. Mm. We spent so long planning the wedding, picking out the flowers, choosing the food, the music, the words we'd speak, and then the big day came, and... and she didn't show up. Please, you're the only one who can bring me justice. I want her to feel what I felt that day, the pain, the humiliation. I want her heart to shatter in so many pieces, she can't go on living. Bro, but do you know why she didn't show up? What was the reason, though, dude? Will you help me? Yes. Excellent. It won't be easy, though. You'll have to make her fall in love with you utterly and completely. Then, when she's ready to accept your proposal, when she can't imagine her life without you. Give her this. Dear Alex, it's time for you to know the truth. I don't love you. I never loved you. This was all a game for me. You're an empty and deceitful, and I hope you never find the slightest glimmer of happiness in this life. Chat. Wait. Wait. So this ghost wants me to go and get his ex-lover to fall in love with me. And then right before we're going to get married, hand her the, the, the letter. Just crush her. Right, I'm down. I've spent a long time thinking of the exact right word. And even longer getting it onto paper. Well, I am incorporeal after all. Which makes it all the more impressive that I managed to get this too. Wedding bells? A book of tips to make anyone fall in love with you until they're ready to say I do. 
Okay. In case you need the help. Well, no, I did. The art of seduction, bro. I don't need this, bro. I know how to. We know what we're doing. Go to the Brower Town, Browerstone Market, and seduce Alex. I mean, the thing is, is I want to know why she didn't show up, though, before I just go crushing this lady. Because obviously she's not married right now. So something had to have happened. Let's see. Let's find Alex. Need any assistance? You can usually find no finer goods in all of Bowerstone. Let's go the wrong way. I have to shoot off now, I'm afraid. Enjoy your shopping experience. Take your mind off terrible world events. Oh, I didn't see you there. Isn't it amazing? All these people, they look so happy, don't they? I'm sorry, don't mind me. My name's Alex. I'm... I'm sure you're a really nice person, but I'm not really much of a talker these days. Amuse yourself you sure you should be wearing that top? Gambling. Up to you, really. Hey, what is it? Tell us. Need a distraction from your I problems? really like that. It's I true. Have a cure. Right. Terrific. Nice. Let's see. Get out there and kill some bandits. Oh. Too. <laughs> Test your luck. Pretty fine. Great. <laughs> Brilliant. She's not like a a woman of the of the night, right? I'm not trying to. Try to get them stids, you know. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's be fun. Do tell. Looking for a new addiction? Try my game. Look at you go. Fantastic. Bro, I'm not trying to make all y'all love me. Like, get the fuck out of here. It's just me and her. Look, this lady just came in. Go mind your own business, people. Here, hold on. See. Why risk your life searching for treasure? Play the game. Hey, it's nicely done. Yeah. I think I can give her a gift, right? Really quite wonderful. My heart calls. Not too bad. Oh, how nice. marvelous. Good, even. I wouldn't normally say this, but those shoes are awful. They are smack the fuck out you. To outsmart Keystone. Go on, let's see now. Hey, Amazing! Yeah. Yeah. Hone your strategies with a clever game. Pretty good. All right, let me give her a gift. Um, yes. Social gift. What do I got to give her? No, we don't want to give. Her. Oh, here we go. I can give her some milk chocolate. I can give her a ring. Let's give her some chocolates. Mm, wonder what it will be. Oh, how nice of you. Yeah, that's what I do. What is it? Tell I can, us. I can give her, uh... Give her some money. There. I have, like, 25 G. It's the hey, thanks. Game in Albion. Well, it's pretty good anyway. A heart shows this villager that's is lovely. attracted thanks. to you. 
looks aren't everything. Of course not. But still, it'd be nice if yours were a bit better. This villager is attracted to you. You can use flirty, fun, and social expressions to make them like you. Maybe even marry you. Use, uh, okay. Bet this is really romantic. Under the mysteries of reproduction. Hey, oh, I am nice. Oh, best gambling. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh lovely. You yeah. have given I was me a quite bit of that. Pretty good. That's helped. So you need to show the abbot you can do the job, eh? We I get the Don't fuck away from me. I'm trying. Times. I'm trying to get this girl, and the fucking bartender's coming out from behind the counter to fucking try to. Have a lot to learn, Sparrow. I need to find a game Do it. That's right. There's a shop in this very town. Hey, oh, lovely. Oh, thanks. Oh, you're such a charmer. Oh, this is just the most romantic thing I've ever, quite upset, ever seen. That's helped. You have given me a bit of hope. You wanna? Your muscles seem Hi, to be getting fellow. bigger all the time. You must be really strong by now. I can have her follow me. I yeah. hope we're always together. Oh, show Need me now! I can't your wait. I have a what does she want to see? Okay, lead the way. Right, come There's on. There's a sale on nearby. Home. Not a big one, but still. Hello there, dog. Come up, come up here. Let, let's talk. Over there looks like fun. The shops are now closing. Who the fuck is? A Westcliff saliva bucket. Do you think our lives are predetermined somehow, or are they like just a random sequence of events? Show us. Come on. Hey. I can yeah. say I like that a lot. Now you have the wits to outsmart the What does fucking lazy go lady go away? Like what is Nobody invited you, lady with the drink? How you doing? I bet this is really romantic. Yeah, good. That's good. Great. <laughs> hey, let's see what's going on there. Where? Oh, the hero life is treating you well. You... I'm so glad I met you. What are you pointing at? I'm pretty sure my family comes from a long line of heroes. Or was it weirdos? You haven't got much of an eye for fashion, have you? You tease. <laughs> we'll give her something. Uh... What's going on? Erudite apple pie? What is that, guys? I'm trying to think of uh, we'll give her a little more we'll give her a little more gold. Are you going to be really romantic? I hope so. Um, she likes freshly picked flowers and the seduce emote, but I don't have the seduce emote yet. Mm. She thinks I'm kind of romantic. Let's just be a little. Let's be a little more funny. Right. 
Nicely done. Who the fuck is this other lady, dude? Yay! Look at you go! Not bad. Well, how Not about good. that? Oh, show me now. I can't wait. Hey! Hooray! Woohoo! Keep practicing. Oh, good. Maybe even great. Oh, you've got something to say? Oh, Love that's it. nice. Great. Yeah, great. Ooh. I was quite upset, but that's how really, really, really love it. Do it. That's right. We'll hit her. Excellent. We'll hit her with that arm pump one more time, uh -huh. Chet. Yeah, good, good stuff. That's good. Pretty good. Sorry, I read that book that the ghost gave me for the. Wow. For the seduce emote. Let me see. Items. Books. Oh, that's a suicide note, not seduce. I'm a fucking idiot. The art of seduction. Here we go. Oh, we just learned. Yeah, there it is. Hey, baby, how you doing? I bet this is really romantic. How you? Take your mind off terrible world events with a nice game. I'm just the luckiest woman in the world. I never thought I'd find happiness again. I never thought I'd deserve it. I. There's something I've never told you. I almost got married once before. He was a sweet boy, but we were both so young. Too young. I got scared and ran away the day of the wedding. I hurt him so badly. He, he took his own life. I've carried that guilt with me all these years, never dreaming I could love again. Until I met you. Chat. She did. She just abandoned the, the dude. She just abandoned him. What? Why would I marry her? No, I was about to give her the note. I, my, I was like I said I was I was doing this to see what her reason was. She left that man at the altar, and he killed himself. Yeah, what if she left me? I'm not gonna kill myself. I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> Nah, chat. Nah. Nah. We're not marrying her. It ain't happening, guys. It ain't happening. We just started our adventure. Okay? No. No, 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 no. I'm not marrying her, chat. I did this to... We're, we're in there. We're doing this for the ghost. We're doing this for the ghost, chat. I gotta break her heart, chat. I gotta break her heart. There it is. What? I don't... I, I don't understand. This was... It was all a trick? No. It can't be true. It can't be true! No! Over there looks like fun. Damn. Come back. If she was moving, dude. Huh? 
How the fuck was she running so fast? Shit, guys. I don't know where she went. Yeah, she just she ran off at like with super speed. I didn't even get a chance to explain. God damn. Come on. I am so sorry for what I did to you. I've never forgiven myself, you know. And I never, I never forgot you. I love you so much. And I loved you too. Maybe this is our second chance. Maybe we can... It's not easy being dead, you know. I mean, you'll see for yourself. I never want to see you again. Either of you. <laughs> wait! Alex, wait! Well, <laughs> you've that done it. Almost everyone in Oakfield has heard of you. Now you can go back to the Abbot. See, I thought. I thought they were gonna like live happily every ever after together, you know what I mean? And that that that's not what happened. You're no bonnet.
to, it's not what it seems like. I, I, I just was doing what the ghost wanted, you know what I mean? Right, let's return to the abbot. And then when I seen them there together, I thought that they were gonna like be happily ever at, but then she, she somehow knew that, you know, Prayed for your return. I heard what you did in Rookridge. I think you could be of great use to us. Exactly. See, chat. Come, walk with me a while. Already living that life as a hero. Now, nourishing the golden acorn is done with holy water from the well spring of light. But the spring is located in a nearby cave, which is said to be quite dangerous. Our sacred text says two monks must enter this cave. The strongest and a second of the abbot's choosing. Obviously this concerns me, especially since the strongest monk here is my own child. So instead of a second monk, I have chosen to send a protector for the first. And that's you, if you're interested. The cave is just at the end of this road. You probably passed it on your way here. Our strongest monk will be waiting for you when you're ready. Now then, I must gather the others and prepare for the blessing. Our first hero awaits us, even if they do not yet realize it. What if I don't protect the sun? Lovely singing voice would bring the crowds. So you're my escort then? My father said you'd be coming by. Hey there, boy. Hello. Oh, you're a strong, handsome fellow, aren't you? I feel better having you with me in that cave. Yes, I will. I'm Sister Hannah. Some people call me Hammer when they think they're being clever. They're not. But I can't do much about it because monks make a solemn vow never to bash anyone's face in. Did my father mention that? Yeah. Whatever fighting's to be done in there, it's all yours. We require a hero, not a pacifist monk. We'll need her to find a reason to fight. I don't mind telling you, I'm a bit envious. You get all the excitement, and I get to carry this bloody thing like some sort of mule. I mean, look at it. It's enormous. Golden or not, how much water does a bloody acorn need? After you? 
<laughs> she's big. She she's protecting me. <laughs> she's our protector, dude. Hey. How you doing? Nah, she she eats little ones for me like breakfast, Chad. For breakfast, that shit didn't even phase her. <laughs> she she don't care, dude. It's amazing when you think about it. No one else has been in here for maybe a hundred years. Well, no monks anyway. I guess an adventurer or two could have come in, but if they got out alive, I didn't hear about it. Hmm. Anyway, look up there. They're lovely. I think they're called wisps. Souls of the dead who never left this world. It's actually rather sad, isn't it? You are a quiet one. Watch your step, doggy. Looks a bit steep here. I was just. Do you run into anything nasty in here? I mean, a dark, creepy cave is a hell of a place for a holy spring. Especially well, I... for an order of pacifists. You know, I've heard of monks in the north who believe that to transcend violence, you have to understand it first. So instead of praying, they train to fight all day. They think that's the path to inner peace. Sometimes I think, what if the bloke who founded the Temple of Light had believed that? Or what if I'd been adopted by the warrior monks instead of my dad? My life would be completely different right now. Exactly the same person, just change where I was brought up and I get totally different beliefs. All right, this should be the central chamber. Wow. I've never seen anything like this, ever. Now, according to my father, we need to go through these three doors in order to collect the water. Putting weight on the pressure plates will open the doors. This one's the first. There we go. All right, so the plates require more and more weight as we go. Luckily, I've got something unbelievably heavy right here. All we have to do is add a bit of water from the fountain that's in the room up ahead. Or at least it should be in the room up ahead. Steep in here as well. <coughs> this cave really is quite dangerous. Steep in here as well. <coughs> this cave really is quite dangerous. Deep in here as well. <coughs> this cave really is quite dangerous. Not that I've been in many caves. Bet you have though, haven't you? Probably found all sorts of interesting things. Treasure in that. Now, there are two plates in this room. It'll take both of us to get the water flowing. Got a silver key in the back there. I stand here so I can catch it. And you need to stand on that one. Right, there it goes. Oh yeah, I can feel this thing getting even heavier. That's nice, that is. So far, this isn't too bad. A couple of steep bits, but... That's it. I really hope they find someone else to do this next time. Mind you, I'll be an old lady by then, so I'm probably off the hook. You know, this is probably going to be the highlight of my life. The day I carried a jug through a cave. Hardly epic poem stuff, is it? 
Did you hear something? No. Probably just my imagination. Don't just... talk much, do you? I mean, you're doing all the talking for both of us, dude. Fuck you mean? Right, I reckon that's all the water we're gonna get from this one. Fire's better against the... see any wisps now and no hollow men followed us guess we're safe in here you ready Fountain to catch the water, same as before. Ah, oh, brilliant. Just have to wait until this thing stops running. You'd think they would have made this jug with a flat bottom in case you want to have a rest. But as it is, it would just tip over, and then where would we be? Impressive. 
She's really impressed, Seth. from the point where the ground falls out from under your feet. Be cautious. What in the world was that? Are you ready for whatever that was? You think he's all right? Okay, I'm getting worried now. What you got there? Oh, that is disgusting. dog for attacking him. Who's a good boy? Who tears their heads off hollow men? Is it you? Is it you, boy? Quite a companion you've got. Remind me not to let him lick me again. Shall we? Right, so we've got one more room to go through and then we should be finished. Don't get too far ahead, though. I don't know what made that noise and I'm not keen to find out.
moment there. You could have helped me out, lady. Oh, shit. Well, for several moments. I... Thank you. You were brilliant. On we go, then. This is it. This is the final room. Should be nearly done now. I know I said that before, but hopefully this time it's true. I think that's the last play over there. Lords of Light, bless this water, that with it we may give rise to new life once more. As new life rises, so shall we. Patrick took it her number from me. I need some furniture moved. <laughs> Sister Hannah. Brother Robin? What is it? It's your father. One of Lucian's men. He's holding him hostage at the temple. He's got a gun. I have to save my father. <laughs> Come on. We have to get to the temple. What about the water? One of Lucian's agents has come to the temple. Go after her. We just did all this for the water, and then she's just gonna leave it there on the ground? FVM, how you doing? And all of it. Don't make me kill you too. I'm sorry, Father. Not that I broke my vow. I'm sorry I didn't break it sooner. I never did fit in at this place. We both knew that. And now I'm making a new vow. Lucian will die for what he did to you. I won't break this one. Sister Hannah, the blessing. You do it. As new life rises, so shall we. As the seed returns to the earth, so do we all. Is that it then? My father's gone. The golden oak is flourishing again. So now life just goes on as before, does it? The other monks may believe that, but your eyes have been opened. Where did you come from? Who are you? Someone who can tell you much about Lucian. Where he is, what his plans are, and how you can gain your revenge, if you will listen. I want to know everything. Then come with me, Sister Hannah. Call me Hammer. Sister Hammer.
Yeah, but she had to lose her pops, though, man. I've taken Hammer to the guild. You've done well, hero. You have gathered the first of the three heroes, and we are one step closer to defeating Lucian's plans. It will take some time for Hammer to overcome her grief, and longer to explain her role in Lucian's downfall. Perhaps this would be a good time to upgrade your equipment. I believe there is a sale in Bowerstone. It may well be worth a visit. Come back to the guild when you are ready. All right, so we'll head back to Bowerstone. We'll see about upgrading our equipment. I mean, I got some good stuff already. Wait, I was about to say, how you doing? But are these your kids, lady? Hi there. Are you a stranger? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Her name is Becky. Are you uh, are you doing, Becky? Do tell. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Excellent. Don't trust the Becky. I mean, I don't think they're her kids, though, right? Are, are you Becky's kid? Is there what it? Nora the villager. Laura the village. What? Who's your parents? Wait. Becky, what the fuck? You're gonna leave me? Is it true you fight monsters? Who is this lady? That's Poppy the housewife. She's she's definitely married. Tonight we can read another chapter of Eric the Insane Monkey. Okay, <laughs> sweetie. That's her that's her dad. Don't worry. You won't be poor forever. Oh, to be young again. I'm nearly nine years old. Wow! Hi, Fur! Yeah, I feel like I feel like these people here are kind of wifed up. Or, yeah, she's a housewife. So maybe Becky isn't married. Cause it says housewife. On the other ones, and Becky was just a traveler. But I mean All right, let's head to Browerstone. Look at upgrading our equipment. Gain entry to the Temple of Shadows. Actually, I want to check out what that is, too. Two idiots read from the Necron, the Book of Extremely of the the Book of the Extremely Dead. The gates to the Netherworld have been opened. That sounds really cool, actually. Um, eight Almirans, Premier Archaeologist, and locating ancient artifacts. Each find you make will contribute to your fame and earn you renown. And then donating to the light. Make donations to the temple. No. no. All right. So let's uh, see. Sales. So Oakville has a 25% off on weapons. 50% and yeah, that's huge. Oh, the sculptor quest is done. My statue. All right, Mr. Blacksmith, let's see what you got. I'm glad. 
find what you need and leave me alone. It's a bargain at that price. So I'm using the iron katana, right? Special on that today. Get these steel weapons for freaking fifty percent off, but I don't have I don't have enough money. Need any assistance? We gotta get uh, somebody told me that I could sell out. Ooh, yeah, yeah, let me let me do that really quick. People were saying that I could rent out my um the gypsy camp. That I could rent out my little camp that I started for. Yeah, I, I could do some work for some money, yeah. But I'm also gonna rent out my little uh gypsy camp here. We did make, ah, yeah, yeah, we did make some good money on that, that little game there. The fear chomping assassins. Here's mine. Once someone moves in, you'll receive income from this property every five minutes. This means you will get, you will still be making gold even when you're not playing Fable. Look at that. Making money on our property, chat. Hope all is well, hero. Okay, so now we gotta head back to Browerstone. Um. Yeah, I, I don't think I really have much to sell. I got one ring that I could potentially sell. Um, got some keys, rubber ball. We got the Yimmy hats, elixir, spade. Some trophies. Yeah, I really don't have anything I could sell right now. Yeah, we could play some bridge, though. I think I won like $800 off the last game, right? Or Keystone, I thought... Alright, let's get that money, chap. Way high. Did it? Um, that was my original bet, but those don't pay out too much. Mm. 
Another 10, that's gonna go down to 9, though. Or no, automatic 11? Oh, so, yeah, so it goes up, not down. Look, that game's over. We're making no bread right now, chat. We're still down, chat. We're still down. What do we start at? Does anybody remember? Go nine on that. Thirteen. Douglas, how the fuck did you know it was thirteen red coming, dude? Douglas, how the fuck did you know that, bro? For real. Shit. I wish I had it like that, dude. Oh, we're gonna rock we're gonna rock Keystone here. I don't or I don't know. I think it'll probably be this one right now. Let's double up on it. Gotta, it's gonna be a keystone one of these times, chat, right? If not, it'll be a red. Red nine. We're not doing too hot, chat. We're about to have to go chop some wood, dude. Gambling ain't working for us. It's gonna go up to nine. Damn. Or it went down to seven, okay. We got 10 left, chat. We're going all in on 11. Not in. Would you like to borrow more chips? No, dude. Just roll a fucking dice. We lost it all, chat. Pay debt? We're gonna cash out, dude. You 
You've lost 200 gold. Better luck next, next time. Trying to make money, chat. We just lost the money, dude. Take a chance on a game of this should kill that dude. Now we gotta go. We, now we gotta do actual work to try to make up. Bartending is is where it's at. We could try bartending. How do I uh? How do I do it? I left my cards at home. We'll just have to sit here in silence, I'm afraid. There's a small sale on in the shops. Where's the... But I'll wait for the real bargains. What would I, what do I go to get a job as a bartender? Why risk your life searching for treasure? Play a game instead. Bro, go fuck off, dude. You just robbed me. How do you know if it was left or right? Let me see. Is there another tavern somewhere? Maybe in Oakvale? Or Oakfield? No bar job to each I already chopped wood. Have you been coming here long? The Temple of Shadows is a blight on all of us. Do I gotta chop more wood? Leave me alone. Get your purses ready. The shops are open for business. What would you like today? Damn, who gave me a lot for Always that pie? Happy to buy your unwanted items. Been to the Temple of Shadows. Alright, so we're gonna go uh go chop wood. I like it was harder to actually pull off the uh, wood cutting than the blacksmith. Come on, dude. I'm just trying to make some money, dude. None of these people got jobs available for us right now. We'll try back in town to see if we can... Safe since my last sword hmm. fell apart. Know where I can buy a new weapon. Hey, hey, Seriously, chat. That one's not available either. And it just popped up saying there was a wood cutting job available. They got me going back and forth, dude. There it is. All right, here we go.
Yeah, that's a lot of gold. Before we get promoted, man. Yo, where's my multiplier at, dude? There we go. We got a multiplier. Three. Ha! Fucking moving on me, chat. What's going on? Lost my multiplier. They yeah. really got us working for our money right now, Chad. What the hell? They really got me out here working for this. I'm supposed to be a hero. Close to that promotion, though. I think I already got woodcutting level one, right? I think this is my promotion towards level two. Last chop. Dude, did we just make 2k gold? A tier 3 woodcutter. Total gold earned was a thousand. Uh, oh my god. Almost 9k gold. Chat. 9k gold. For our next promotion. Check out the new survival game called World of the Worlds. Never heard of that. Easy and fast. That just took us mad long. And that was only 800. You got to get the perfect cut. Bruh. Who 
Whew, that was close. Damn, 50 on each cut for uh, time. That's, that's good. By the time I make the money, the damn sale is going to be over, dude. I don't even know how long we have left on this sale. I've been fast traveling, and when you fast travel, it, like, the, it actually takes days and, and hours to go from one region to the next. Sale probably didn't even go on anymore, so that steel sword I wanted is probably going to be 6K, oh, like, full price. And get up to 6k. We're talking. That's a lot of wood we got to cut, chat. That's a lot of wood, dude. God damn, that was fast. Interesting com content right here, right guys? This is that top tier content you guys subscribe for. Cast me picking up sticks, baby. Oh, shit, we lost it. Damn it. Oh, I kept my chain there. Good. God damn it. The stalls are now opening. Stalls now open. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for Star Wars Outlaws. I don't I don't know when that one comes out. I know it's this year at some point. Um I thought it was gonna be the first couple months of I thought it was Q one, but I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen anything on it, so
Get promoted from picking up sticks and rocks to chopping wood. So which one do you prefer though, Caspi? This or is this the, or is this the same for you? We're working on that promotion though, chat. At least we're getting paid every log we cut. It's money in the bank. I made almost 6,000, Chad. We're, we're, we're fucking busting our ass, man. Trying to keep the chain going. I don't want to. Damn it. Ricky with the super chat, man. Thank you so much, dude. Wood cutting, pale world cake cooking, best cut. Yo, <laughs> right, dude? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Yo, that, that cake cooking, though. Oh, man. That shit is brutal, dude. That shit is actually brutal. Army, y'all, thank you so much for the gift, dude. I appreciate it. I made 7,000, chat. 7,000 gold. I'm not aiming for a promotion. I was trying to get about 8K gold. Um, and that's enough to do our shopping. Imagine if money was this easy to make. I know, just right? Every log you chop, just boom. Here's 50 bucks, bro. Shit, it's a good job if you could nowadays it's a good a good job if you sat there and chopped logs and you got 50 bucks for the whole hour of chopping the logs yeah I think how many how many logs could somebody chop in an hour too many But if I go 9k Douglas, then I'm gonna be like, oh, I might as well just go for promotion. Cause I'll be at like 2k. And I'll be like, oh, I might as well just go for promotion. And then and then we're gonna be sitting here chopping wood for fucking 10 hours. Things have never been worse. Yet. These guys love firewood for the whole winter chat. With just our little bit we're doing right here. We're covered. The whole winter. Cause I always sat there and I thought, like, you know, if you chop your own firewood, 
You know, you could save a lot of money because logs are expensive. Like, we, we would just buy logs for, like, the summertime for, like, little campfires and shit like that. And just buying, like, a tiny-ass little bundle of logs is, like, 14 bucks. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, freaking... You get your own wood and you chop it yourself. You probably save a lot of money. But then if you have somebody, if you, like, hire kids to come out and, and chop it for you during the summertime and shit. So I know a lot of those... Farms will have jobs like that. Around where I am, you can go out to farm and bale hay and freaking chop wood and shit. You can make some good money, man. Me and a buddy of mine went out to a farm uh, one summer. And we're uh, just, we didn't even bale the hay. They had a thing that would like bale the hay. And we just had to stack the hay bales. And at first I was like, oh, like this is going to be pretty. Yo, chat, listen. Those fucking hay bales are so goddamn heavy. <laughs> It was so heavy, especially when they're like wet and stuff. It was it was horrific. I made good money though. Shit, back then, you know, we were making like fifteen dollars an hour doing that shit, and I was what fifteen, I think. Yeah, I was like fifteen years old, back in the early two thousands. Like that was good. That was good fucking money. But that shit was it was it was so heavy. It was so heavy. We had a farmer out there paying really, really good for that shit. Because, yeah, one of my buddies he was like, hey, man, you want to come work with me at the farm this weekend? And I was like, uh, sure, dude. He was like, what are we doing? He said, oh, we're just moving some hay. And in my head, I'm like, oh, okay. I'll move some hay. It's fucking hay. How, you know, and in my head, I'm thinking it's not, it's not going to be that bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we had these like yeah, yeah, we had these hooks that you would grab it with, and 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 uh, and pick it up. Cause without the hooks, man, you, it would it would tear your fucking fingers up. Cause it, with the the little wire thing they're wrapped with. Yeah, so you just grab it with the hooks and just fuck, fling it. Cause at first I wasn't good with the hook, so I was just trying to use my hands. But no, those fucking little, those little wire things just eat up your damn gloves. Even with gloves, I was still eating my fucking hands up. Well, see, chat. Now you guys got me fucking talking about hay, and now we're at 10k gold. Now I might as well go for promotion. See what I'm, I mean? You guys tricked me into doing this shit, dude. about when I used to build bridges. Yeah, man. I had some pretty insane jobs when I got the Marines. I did, yeah, I did bridge construction for a while there. That shit was, I was just a laborer that I would just do all the bullshit nobody else wanted to do. 119, chat. We're almost there. One more log. Things have never been worse here. Yeah, we just made some killer cash on that, though. We're level four wood cutting. We earned 9K gold. 10,000 total. 30,000 gold. Dude, man. We're not, we're not going promotion level five, but just so you guys know, that shit's expensive. All right, let's head back to... 
So let's see what a sell is for blacksmith. Six days on this. What's a popular dish from India that starts with a C? Um, pretty sure a lot of those Asian countries, J Japan, China, I think India too. I think they curry. I'm pretty sure they eat curry of some sort over there. Yo, curry is so good though. I got the level 10 curry from uh, Curry Spot in Japan. Absolutely fried my fucking mouth, dude. <laughs> Shit didn't even taste good, dude. It was just hot. I love me some fucking curry. You gotta be careful though. That shit is absolutely brutally spicy. If you get it, it can be super spicy. All right, let's get some sleep. Buy a property? Damn, y'all already trying to get me to spend all my money. No, we're buying. I was buying a sword. Don't waste your time with ale. Can I get drunk my sword with a gate of the so I buried my foot in the sand, right? And this big watching thing coming up and then he's right in the one around. How long until the damn blacksmith opens, dude? These people are lazy as fuck, man. Like come to work, bro. <laughs> well, while we're waiting. Perfect hammer blow. God Hit damn the it. blade, not the anvil. Yeah, Casper, it is who you think it is. Yeah. The stalls are now opening. Stalls nice bit of forging. Opening for business. Yeah, we ain't making shit. I was making so much more money cutting wood, dude. And I was making it per chop. Nice hit. We're only making $18 per sword, bro. And then the turn around. This is bullshit. Get the multiplier a lot faster though doing this. Keep hitting it like that. You stupid son of a bitch. That's how you make a blade. That'll do. A nice sharp one. Yo, you actually build up the uh, multiplier pretty quick doing blacksmithing. You're doing a good job. Damn it. I should, I should have waited. I don't know why I rushed that one. That blade's complete. 
Well, it seems like with blacksmithing, if you get the multiplier, you get the multiplier build up way, way fast. And it's a lot more forgiving if you're a little patient. A good blow. A good strike. Seems like you get a multiplier with every craft for the most part. That one's ready. Get back to school, God damn it. Sixty-eight until promotion. It's shaping up nicely. All right, the blacksmith should be here after we're done with this, right? If he's not, I'm gonna go slap him in his mouth. You're doing a good job. There it is. Wow. Chat, where the fuck is this guy? He's supposed to have a 50% off sale right now. Is he in the bar drinking? Hello. I'm a sweet little boy. Hey, want to play later? Have you got what it takes to play the greatest game ever conceived? When did you realize you were going to make a life of going on quests? Good boy. Was that him right there? Oh, there he is. God damn, yo, this dude. He's such a bum, bro. Like, what does he do all day? So we can go steel longsword, which is 53 damage. Yeah. Wait, what? So steel longsword here. What's the difference? The damage is the same. Why does this one cost more? It's a bargain at that price. Oh, it's because it has an augment rune slot. We're having a special on that today. Yeah, this one has an augment slot. We'll get it. Oh, it's expensive for a reason. It's the best. Come back if you have anything else to sell. Yeah, so uh, it's so much better. It, literally 30 more damage than the weapon we just had. If you spend lots, All right, so I think I we might also buy the steel flintlock rifle. It's a bargain at that price. This iron has two uh, 
augment slots, but this one is so is so much damage. Yeah, let's grab that. You won't regret spending so much gold. Always happy to buy your unwanted items. All right, we got some new weapons now. Job available somewhere in town. We should be good to go. So the Temple of Shadows, chat. We got to figure out what this is. Buy houses now? Well, the only thing is I wanted to spend money on on that. I, I mean, I, I do got a little bit of money. I mean... We could see about maybe buying some a, a spot in Oakfield. Oh, no, I didn't want to go Temple of Light. This place is 34,000, chat. This one's 5k owned by Jill the farmer. So it's not vacant. So if I make it vacant, like if something were to let's just say something happened to Jill, would that that would save me 450? saying I'm gonna do anything to Jill I was just it was just a question no 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 it was just a question but I was just saying like hypothetically if something happened to Jill would it save me to 450 I mean, could we ask Jill to leave? Or what if we marry Jill? Now, the thing is, is if... Jill! Jill! Is Jill ignoring me? It's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll buy it. It's still good money. Buy and rent out.
Wait. How am I how am I stealing my own shit? It's mine, dude. Oh, is it because I'm renting it out? Who the fuck are you? Carol the housewife? What are you guys doing to my spot? You haven't got much of an eye for fashion, have you? How about I beat the fuck out you, Peggy the farmer? Talking all that. Oh, they, uh, oh, maybe they're renting my, oh, they're renting it out, okay. Peggy almost caught the beat down, dude. Have you seen my mate? 14 feet tall. Covered all right, so we're, we're making some money there. Obviously, we gotta slow roll the income. We gotta slow roll the income. All right, so let's go find out about the Temple of Shadows. That sounds really cool. Wish to join the Excuse me, sir. Can I interest you in joining the Temple of Shadows? Ah, not one to blabber inanely, I see. We have a fair few of your disposition among us. Yes, you'll feel right at home. We're the fastest growing cult in Albion, you know. The entry requirements are quite simple. The temple insists all potential members perform an abominable act of nefarious evil. Now, of course, back when I joined, it was just kicking the crutches from disabled beggars. But you, you'll have to eat five crunchy chicks. Wait, what the fuck? What? What? Did he want me to eat? Oh, baby chicks. <laughs> Oh, that makes more sense, dude. I was like, wait. <laughs> what does he want me to eat, dude? How are they going to put that in a video game? I was so confused. I'm like, first of all, damn. But what is a, ch a crunchy chick, dude? Listen, how, how, what do you mean? I'm not from the country, so when people say chicks, the first thing that pops in my mind, I'm not thinking of, like, the little birds. Like, if somebody comes up to you and says chicks, most people are going to think they're talking about a girl. Not a freaking little baby chick. But that's even weirder th that they want me to eat chicks. Are they alive? <laughs> Go on. You know you want to, really. <laughs> What's wrong with his face? Why is it? His... Ah, excellent. You have to swallow every last bit, you know. The feathers, the bones, the... The beak. Oh, excuse me, please. Damn, 
him, bro. Oh. I can't believe you did that. It, it was still alive. You told me to. Oh. Oh. I think I'm going to be sick. That one was still fluttering as you swallowed it. <laughs> Three? Ugh! You ate three! Oh, the last one I got this far dropped dead! We could still hear the chirping inside his stomach. Oh! There goes another one! Extra crunchy! Oh! You don't have any scruples, do you? Listen, chat. Do you know how hardcore you would have? Do you know how hardcore you would have to be to just ch take a, a little chick that's a lot ah, and just put it in your mouth and eat it? <laughs> Ooh, those cute fluffy birds aren't going to eat themselves, you know? Although, cannibal chicks? <laughs> that would be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> that, that is the vilest thing I've ever seen. And this, coming from someone who never misses Torture Tuesdays. Mm. Anyway, yes, welcome to the temple. You've earned your place among the shadows. Okay, so I thought I was joining like some like cool assassin club, not fucking eating little birds, dude. <laughs> no, not really evil enough. <laughs> I ate five chicks that were alive. Why are you eating chicks? That's what I said, but it was like the bird version. I've heard that you were talking to girls, and you were trying to make them fight. And then I gave them a note, tell them that it was all a game. <laughs> I'm going to the uh, Asian market, but you have to see. Hold on one sec, guys. All right. All right, let's do it, chat. See, even when my wife asked, she was like, "What are you?" She was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Oh, I'm eating." I, or she was like, "Why did you have that face?" And I was Welcome, like, young "I was eating chicks." The temple of Shadows. I am Cornelius Grimm. 
It's you pretty. have entered a venerable society of dark worship, with a long history of wicked deeds and opprobrious transgressions. Fridays is poker night. Now, proceed down the hallway to our unholy wheel of misfortune. The most gruesome and terrifying device ever conceived. The instructions are right next to it. What the fuck did I join, chat? I thought the shadows just can't get enough sacrifices. Jolly well love them, they do. Each victim you bring into the sacrificial circle earns you a nice little bundle of loyalty points. And with the Temple of Shadows reward scheme, once you've earned enough points, you can collect a really quite smashing prize. Wait, so did I, I got some cool robes though. So, what do, so I gotta bring people in here to like sacrifice them again? Working next to the wheel used to put me off food, but not anymore. God damn, dog, why do you do that? So it's kind of like Fable 1 where I got to bring the, the people in here and sacrifice them. Nice, got another key. You know, this really ain't my scene, though, chat. I'm more of like a hero. You know, oh, we just got paid. Can't be sacrificing people again. You know, we, we've we've given up that life. We, we've given up that life of, of, of sacrificing people. I don't know. Maybe if some people piss us off, maybe we'll sacrifice them.
All right, maybe we'll sacrifice one person just to see what happens. Can you fast travel with followers? Hey you. How is everything? Emma the villager? If you go shopping today, make sure you keep an eye out for Let's see then. They're boycotting local. How you doing? Hey. Ugh, I'm how stupid is that? It's nice to have enough money not to worry about That's it. That's not really a oh. really appropriate. To, uh, you know, how romantic. Good. Oh. What? Very good. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Brilliant. You've got to look. Yeah, good. Very good. I'm really feeling oh, some shopping. Them gypsies. They're always coming here trying to sell in stuff. Bower Lake. Why, thank you. I have to shoot off now, I'm afraid. She's going to follow me? Excellent. Much appreciated. I'm too frightened to watch. Oh, this guy will follow me. Come on, dude. Oh, yeah. Who is he? Oh, I show me more. I like that. Oh, the bard. All right, so we got Philip the Bard chat. Um, Temple of Shadows. Yeah. So much easier in this one with the fast travel and they just follow you. The shadows just can't get enough sacrifices. Jolly well love them, they do. Each victim you bring into the sacrificial Bro, circle shut the fuck up and a nice little bundle of loyalty points. And with the Temple of Shadows reward scheme, once you've earned enough points, you can collect a really quite smashing prize. I say, that looks like a jolly good sacrifice you had there, old bee. Just lead the offering into the sacrificial circle. By the way, how do you get the blighters to follow you here? Always have a heck of a time myself. Sorry, dude, this is just for science, man. It's nothing personal. You have to admit, anyone stupid enough to follow one of us down here deserves to die in the most gruesome manner. <laughs> I certainly enjoyed that. I'm sure the shadows are rejoicing as we speak. Shit. Working next to the wheel used to put me off. Lead the sector uh, into the center of the circle, pull the lever, stand back as the wheel decides their gruesome fate. 
what are, how many points you're awarded will depend on your own renown at the time in the time of day to earn bonus points by sacrificing monks temple of light monks you mourn you and even more for your spouse you can make more than one sacrifice at a time collect 2000 points for the ultimate evil reward food but not anymore still can't touch black puddings though so how many points do I have now? Is there a way to check? Increase. Oh, I'm short of a little bit. I'm not evil. Yeah, we're not. We're not evil, Chad. I just had to see what it was gonna like. What it was, the whole thing was about. You know what I mean? It was just. See, we're gonna go. We can go donate to the light to make up for it. You know what I mean? No, no, I was trying to see how many points I had already, you know, because we just accidentally sacrificed that dude. So I was just curious on, like, how much money we actually, or how many points we got. Choose your moniker. The finest haberdasher in all the land. Don't let me catch you sleeping on a job. Now I'm curious, chat, how many of you guys have sacrificed your spouses? Lady, what the hell? This doesn't look done. Oh. Ah, you wish to model for me again? Oh, no, where's my other statue? Oh. Yes, that's right. Oh. Was it in the town square? I didn't even see it. It was your fault. You're the one who found it. You're the one who read the words. It's your fault. You're the one who said I was a chicken because I wouldn't read it in the first place. <laughs> yes, but you're the one who... Hey, look. You have to help us. He, he raised, raised the dead. The dead. I don't know what the fuck's going on, dude. Or I'm going to slap you both in the mouth. Mother will kill oh, us if she thank finds you. out. You see, we read aloud from this book we found called the Normanomicon. You're the one who found it, remember? Yeah, and you're the one who read the thing. Oh, is, never mind. We sort of the thing is, accidentally summoned a few hollow men. A few hundred. And now they have the book. Only because you dropped it, you big girl. You need to clear the graveyard so we can get the book back and put them all back where they came from. Where do you think they came from? I don't know. You summoned them. Next time you want us to explore graveyards, hit yourself with a mallet instead. And next time you want to read a book, hit yourself with a giant axe instead. You're just mad because you can't read ancient languages. Oh, yes. I wish I could make lots of corpses who want to eat me a pier whenever I wanted. I knew it. Always so jealous. Really? Chat? Oh. 
Oh. Hold on one sec. We can't be digging up graves, dude. that extra health bit um my will we can get infernal level two <laughs> see now my dog's got me over here being being a savage I usually want to just dig up a grave like this.
to you. We don't seem that evil, right, chat? Not like in Fable 1 where I raised all them people in the air and turned them into pink mist. Lady, why are you just wandering around here? Like a villain? What do you mean? Like my combat style looks evil? I am going the hero route. Obey the rules of the town. No, no, yeah, I am. I am the hero route. I, I haven't been doing anything evil. I'd eat some chicks. And, uh, sacrifice, like, one dude and only had one lady kill herself, but other than that, like, <laughs> we've been, we've been doing pretty good. I mean, when you lay it all out like that, it sounds way worse than it really is, is... You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, it's just. Wait. Oh. Oh. So can I use this book myself, though? Not that I want to know how to use the evil book, but it seems like it could potentially be powerful. So can you not use the book? Probably not. Probably just the quest item. I don't see it here though. Oh, is it in trophies? No, it's not there either. Damage trophies are worth a ton. Should probably fucking sell those. Yeah, I can't see the book, though. When I check books and documents, uh, the Norma comma or whatever, it's not in here.
Well, I well that book was for my dog. Let me see. The mage follows where wisdom leads, but always into conflict. Making an ally of this hero will cost you much. Right. What page was the undo spell on? Uh... Oh, here we are. Tantir Varada Kanda. Mokluk. What? Oh, so it automatically gave it to him when we came up to him last time. Okay, so I'm... that was nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, so there's our first meeting of heroes. There you are. I believe the second of our heroes, the mage, is in Brightwood. There is a powerful will user there, called Garth. Do you remember that name? He was there the night Lucian killed Rose. You didn't tell me that. How are we supposed to trust him? Garth believed Lucian's interest in the Old Kingdom was purely academic, like his own. And Lucian, for his part, thought Garth was merely a brilliant scholar. When each learned the truth about the other, their partnership ended. Violently. You will find Garth in Brightwood Tower. I have seen a vision of him toiling on some ancient technology there. Surely he intends to stop Lucian, but he cannot do so without help. Go and inform him of our intent. Hammer, you should remain here. Why? I'm ready. With Lucian still searching for heroes, it's safest for you here. Fine. But don't think you're holding me back when the action starts. My father thought his faith would protect him from the world. What? I won't make the same mistake. Look at the bonus on my clothes. Was it give me extra power? Uh, clothing. Evil ten percent. So I get to stay here with Mrs. Barrel of Laughs while you go off into the world? Great. I mean, just because it says they're evil doesn't mean I'm evil, though. I'm just, I'm just wearing them because they look cool, you know what I mean? Hero robes probably won't look as cool as, as, as the black ones, you know? It's always the evil stuff that just looks the coolest. You ever notice that yet? Do I not have Inferno 2 equipped? Yeah, I got Inferno 2 equipped.
So that's Inferno 2. I need to find somebody to test that out on. Not like an innocent person, like somebody bad. What was this? So I still feel like the... Oh, banditos. how low my damn health was. Listen, chat. There's one thing I can I can like tell you guys. That's just good advice. But if you dig up a condom that's in the ground, I probably wouldn't use it. You know what I mean? There's a good chance that the integrity has been compromised in some capacity. Brightwood, 90 miles. Damn, my man could walk 90 miles in 19 hours? Well, uh, average, what, three to four hours, miles an hour? No, that's a lot of fun. It's coming your way. I have never felt anything like it. She dirty. Casper, I don't even know how to use the jimmies. We haven't, we haven't, maybe next episode we'll, uh. We'll have to see what the application of those is all about. God damn.
Gesagt. Check this stuff real quick, bro. What the fuck, dude? Actually, for one thing. I don't even have any. Health potions.
going back there. You hear me? You're wrong! <laughs> you think I'm scared of you? You're a freak! Lucian's failed experiment! Nothing more! You left too soon, Garth. Lord Lucian's experiment was a radical success. You are coming with me. There was nothing you could do. That was Lucian's commandant. And apparently... New job available, bounty shot. hunter? An old kingdom weapon of great power. Lucian's strength grows ever more formidable, as does his mastery of the spire and its awful machinery. Come back to the guild. We gotta, we gotta go do some bounty hunting, though, Chet. Where is that available? Helper of, of dangerous creatures and criminals. Get our Witcher going on. Yo, bounty hunter pays. No, no, wait, it pays balls. Guys really know how to just crush crush a man's dreams. Really know how to hurt a man's feelings. I mean, I still want to try it out, though. I'm not evil. No. No, 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 no. We're not evil, Chet. We're, we're playing a hero this time. Yeah, we're, we're playing a hero this time. That's that's the goal of the of the of the playthrough is to be an, a real hero. But all right, guys, we're going to end this episode here. Um, thank you so much. No, I'm not evil. We're, we're being a real hero this time, guys. I'm actually... Look. You see what it says down here, chat? Look, 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 read, read right there. Return to the guild, hero and dog. What else can I fucking say? There it is. You made a woman fall in love with you and then made her... I didn't make her do anything. No, I was just a... Listen. I'm a hero, chat. That's all it comes down to. This episode, we've... See, you guys are only... That's the thing, though, right? Is if, obviously, if you just take all of the mistakes I made every now and again... You know what I mean? Like the, the the bad choices that I make sometimes, and then you list them in 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 a in a, in a paragraph, one after the other. Like, yeah, you guys are out here making me sound super bad, but what you're forgetting to do is you're not staggering my my mistakes with the good things I've done, the people I've saved, the the you know all the other stuff. You know what I mean? Like, think of all the other stuff that I did today that was heroic and, and, and shit like, you know what I mean? And it balances it out. You know what I mean? But that that's the thing is you just you're only looking at the bad things, not the good. So then it, it it's not it's not you're not looking at it proper.
But all right, guys. Um, I really appreciate you guys for hanging out. I'll be doing one more stream here after dinner. Uh, so hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys over there. I don't know exactly what I'm playing. I got to go look at the uh, list of games. But uh, I really appreciate you all. It seriously means the world to me. Remember, if you guys do want more Fable, all you got to do is smash that like button, subscribe, do the things, uh, drop a comment down below. If you're watching now, you want to help out the algorithm a little bit, drop a comment after the stream ends. Or you just click back on the video and, and go down to the bottom and, and drop one there. So thank you guys again, though. You all have a great rest of your night. If I don't see you in the next stream, and uh, for everybody else, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.